Hey, today we're going to swatch some foils. Have lots of new foils from Diamond Glitters and some new stiletto nail pops. These are from eBay and it will just mean that we can see a lot more of the pattern than we would on the small pops you get. Please excuse any loud banging. We're having some roof work done and I'm in the loft room so it's like in my brain. Um, and I'm out of breath because I've just run all the way down to the front door and back up and I'm incredibly unfit which is what 13, 13, 26, 50, 52 steps and I'm out of breath. I'm not ashamed. Um, I'm going to start with this one. Mm. I'm going to start by, this one's a clear one, it's always worth checking before you do it on a client if they've got a colour in the background or if they're clear. Clear's great because obviously you can put any colour in the background. And I think I'm going to do pink petals because who doesn't love pink? I mean, I'm not a big pink person. <laughs> I'm not a big pink person. Um, but... Oh, shut up. It doesn't mean I can't appreciate the colour. So I'm going to do a couple of coats of this. These have got quite a high arch here, so the colour's falling from it a bit, but we'll cover that with foil. So it's all good. I'm going to give that a full cure. Second coat now. Coverage on these polishes is amazing. This is probably the longest nail I've ever painted. It does require a slightly different technique. So that second coat, I'm going to give that a full cure. So here's the magic bit. I'm now going to apply a coat of Foilet foil gel, although I'm going to use this bottle of it because I was lucky enough to have my hands on it before it was released. And it didn't have the labels yet. I'm near the end of that bottle. I've got another one ready for when this one runs out. So same thickness as you would a colour coat. To make sure everywhere is covered. The man on the roof sounds like he's in my ear. It's so loud. Right, I think that's everywhere covered. And that can have a two minute cure. So there's gaps obviously between the flowers on here. And I want to get these two on the pop. So I'm going to cut so I can place them a bit closer together. Obviously you can do that on a client as well. There's no rules saying you can't cut out the bits you want. So I'll separate and try and leave a bit of a border on them so I can peel away. But there's a which parts that belong to. I think that belongs to that bit. And I'm going to leave this butterfly separate. I might try and squeeze him or her on if there's room. There might be some room for that. Let's do that. So I'll leave as much overhang as I can so that I can pull it away easy. bits I want and if room allows we'll get the little this little dude on there as well little hollow dude oh -oh. so has that had two minutes I can't remember if I press the button again hmm I'll give it an extra 30 just in case and then it will be 30 over or 30 under which should be fine either way uh, I've also painted a nail with 
um, Alaska, which is the Gel Perfection White. Um, and I'm going to do that over it. It's not clear, but I thought I'd just give it something, a base under it. Clients like to have colour under things, even if they don't need colour, because it's this, you know, the strength of having the coats of gel polish that help the nails last as well. Right, so. Oh no! Oh dear. Foil's just rolled off like a loo roll all the way onto the floor. Never mind. So, I want this one. Try not to touch the side that you're sticking on there. I think I want this one. Let's see if I put that there and that there, maybe. Yes, let's do that. So, I'm going to get. Oh, I've just picked up three lint wipes. I'm sure one folded up will suffice, but I've picked up three. I'm going to gently just lay this on there, just let it fall on there. And then, starting in the middle, just rub. Actually, I need to avoid rubbing that bit, don't I? I've not faced it high enough, but never mind. And just firmly rub. And you'll see the pattern will start to lift from here, from the backing. And if you do get creases, you can just sort of put iron them out, so to speak, by pressing down over them. I'm pretty sure this is done, but I like to keep going for a little bit longer just to make sure. that look at that see now this bit here where I've not placed it high enough I think I'm going to just plonk that there and see if I can get that bit just to fill in that gap ta-da and on clients, when you're getting around this area, you really want to, with these, maybe even one is better for that, really get your nail in there and make sure you're pressing down the sides. So now let's put the blue bit on, wherever it's gone. Where'd you go? It has literally disappeared. Oh, it's stuck to me. <laughs> right, I'm going to put that... Where shall you go? I think there. Looks like there's not going to be room for Mr. Butterfly. Keep rubbing, make sure I'm getting on the sides. See, this is good to show you then. This bit here is missing a tiny bit, but I can just line it back up as perfectly as I can. Press it down. I think what's happened actually, I know what's happened. There's some some of this foil is there so that's why that bit's not sticking it's already got foil on it yeah that's why but that's okay so that bit that's missing is actually already covered with foil but that's no biggie I think that still looks beautiful and then with diamond gloss just top I've been so excited to swatch these. <laughs> uh, 
Now on a client, I would cap the free edge and then purposefully go a little bit under the free edge with the top coat. And then once they have cured, I'm going to cure this for a minute now. Once they have cured, I would get them to turn their hand upside down in the lamp. So the bit where we've over cured, over capped, sorry, the free edge would get cured as well. And I had someone have full coverage foils um, three weeks ago and they came back and there was barely any wear on the edge. But obviously wear can occur. That's just how it works because the top coat isn't sticking to a tacky or a buffed surface and even if you put base down that's not sticking to a tacky or buffed surface it's sticking to the foil so there is a risk of it but over capping and then curing the underside where you have over capped um, actually worked a treat with the last set I did on somebody so I'm going to do this one now I've done two coats of Alaska um, one probably would have done but I'm just out of habit did two I'm going to plonk this there. Just press down the center and grab. So this foil gel leaves the perfect tacky layer. And foils have always been a sort of when someone says, Oh, can I have a nail of foil and you think oh god what if it doesn't stick everywhere and whereas now you know 100% guaranteed that it will stick and you will get full coverage and for someone who doesn't really like to paint flowers um, it's an absolute dream to have these floral foils I mean, perfect coverage. Yep. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. Love it, love it. And top. Some foils. If you find you're having trouble with them transferring some foils, and I'll show you an example, um, work better if you wipe the backing with some um, isopropyl alcohol or prep solution type stuff because, there's an example, I saw one earlier, like this one for example, has quite a thick yellow backing. So you get some prep solution, not too soaking wet, and just wipe. You see how that takes that off and it will transfer a lot better than doing it like that. But the clear ones and, and ones like this one, that doesn't really have this sort of papery backing like this one. Don't seem to have any problems, but if you do, it's always worth trying this first because it may just be the answer let's pop that away without getting it too messy so these have finished curing and oh look at that no foil glue just foil gel for perfect pickup I'm going to swatch the rest and then I'll do this sort of thing with them all so you can see. I just thought of a really good tip. Um, I had done this nail, um, put the foil on and there was green leaves there but I wanted a bit more of the purple flower. But where obviously it had foil on it wasn't going to stick. So what you could do if that happens and you want to <coughs> I just had to run down the stairs again. <laughs> put something where there was already foil. I just got some more foil it and just put it where I wanted it and then cut out the bit I wanted to put there. Did that and then topped. So you can fill it, you can put bits on top of bits and layer um yeah
that was it really i just thought that was quite a little clever idea so i thought i'd share okay i've done lots of the swatches the banging is still going on there's a hole in the ceiling above me I nearly died um so i've got lots more to do still uh but i'll show you what i've done so far and i've already said goodbye like twice but hello again let's hope the workmen don't swear we'll keep this pg So, I've had to order more pops <laughs> to get me through the rest of them. I hope this video helps some people using the foil gel. Um, it's super simple um, and just a game changer with using foils. Could you ever imagine getting perfect coverage with foil glue? I know. Anyway, thanks. Bye. You here? We've got some roof. Oh, for crying out loud! <laughs> Just wanted to add. Oh my god! Oh my god! There's holes in the wall. Oh my word! <gasps> the wall's coming in.